Hello everybody and welcome to my Afterthoughts video, this time regarding Rocky IV. Can you believe it or not? Man, another great movie in this franchise. I have to say I have not been disappointed yet. I thought Rocky 1, 2, 3 and 4 were all fantastic. Really enjoyed it. You know, before I started um, Rocky IV, I was thinking what else can, can they do, you know? I mean, how could they create an even bigger and more dangerous opponent than we had in uh, Clubber Lang in Rocky III, you know? I mean, this guy was crazy, you know? This guy was hungry and dangerous and he was mental, you know? How could you top that? And then they introduce us to Ivan Drago or Ivan Draga as the Russians pronounce it and this is just a, a mountain of flesh you know a Russian fighter six foot five tall and um, over 260 pounds and juiced up on steroids and his punching power was 2150 pounds per square inch I mean crazy you know i think even in real life this guy is a champion in uh, karate and has some kind of master degree in chemical engineering and something so pretty freaking amazing so they created this this, this übermensch übermensch you know and and that was the uh, the new opponent and it was great because Apollo of course he wanted to get some of his old glory back and pushed for an ex exhibition fight which then happened and ended so terribly I mean that was just so freaking sad I couldn't believe it wow in the second round he was just destroyed this man took a beating and as we all know ended up dying in Rocky's arms and that was just devastating it was so sad and even sadder the montage afterwards remember when Rocky was in his car driving around and we saw this flashback montage with all those amazing memories like him you know Rocky running with Apollo at the beach and everything I mean if if that doesn't make you cry then I don't know maybe you're not human and this was devastating and at the same time, beautiful, you know, an amazing montage. And then of course we have the first plot point when Rocky accepts a match against Ivan Drago. And he goes home to talk to Adrian, who of course doesn't like it at all, understandable. And we have this dialogue uh, when Adrian stands at the top of the staircase and Rocky was on the bottom and I thought visually speaking that was a very interesting choice because Adrian was standing at the top because she kind of was at the top you know she is happ happily married to to uh, Rocky they had a kid they are very successful they have a house and cars and millions of dollars I mean she was at the top of the world you know and Rocky was at the bottom of the staircase and thinking and feeling that he has nothing you know that that contrast was amazing and then Adrian delivers the most brutal line I have heard so far when she says you can't win I mean that was like a knife right into the heart and in contrast you know if you remember in Rocky 3 when she says win was it Rocky 3 or Rocky 2? II? Rocky 3, I think. Win. That was one of the most inspirational moments, you know. And now it's you can't win. The most brutal, devastating line. And, and it, it crushed Rocky 2, of course. And I remember him saying that, yeah, maybe, maybe I can't win. You know, maybe all I can do is just take all the punches this guy gives, you know. But in order to defeat me, he has to kill me. And in order to do that, he has to stand in front of me and be willing to die as well. And I don't know if he's ready to do that. I just don't know. And of course now one could think, yeah, it's a little bit extreme, you know? I mean, we're talking about sports here. You don't have to kill each other. Yes, I understand and I agree, but if you really analyze the fighting spirit all the way down, you know, even if you consider war and all that stuff, ultimately you will 
arrive at that point where it's about life or death, you know. And there's a lot of examples in poker, for example, the same thing. If you put everything you have on one hand, you, you're willing to lose it all. And your opponents, you know, might not be willing to lose it all. They might not willing to put the house and the car and everything onto one card and they might fold and therefore they lose and you win. So it's similar in fighting, you know, when it comes to heart, you, you, you know, if you have a little bit more heart, if you're willing to go all the way, that might be the edge you need to ultimately win. So, and then Rocky leaves and that's what is sad. Flashback montage happens. And then of course he goes to Russia and he brings along Poli and uh, Apollo's former trainer. And they go to Russia where we have another training montage, which is also very interesting because you could see how those two men train differently. I mean, Ivan Drago had the most sophisticated equipment, you know, the state of the art techniques. And he was training in, in, a, in a nice environment and Rocky was just out there in the harsh nature. You know, he had to deal with snow and freezing cold weather and all that stuff. And that was very interesting, the juxtaposed uh, footage that they showed. And then after the first montage, he goes back to his cabin and there was Adrian. Wow, what a great moment that was she flew to Russia and I think it was absolutely the right thing to do because Rocky was going to fight anyway if she was there or not and so you know at least what she could do is be there and try to to uh, help him you know psychologically and I think maybe she even saved his life because I could easily see a, a scenario where Rocky is there in the ring and it just gets beaten to a pulp by this Russian guy and then he's all alone in the ring and, and Adrian is not even there. I could see him just give up and let himself be beaten to death, literally, you know. So that was a very good move that Adrian showed up. It gave him new energy, of course, as always, you know. And then we had this kick-ass montage where he really, I mean, puts the pedal to the metal and both men, I mean, the Russian guy and Rocky train like crazy to exhaustion, you know, they really give it all. It was fantastic to see, very inspirational. You see Rocky climbing up the mountain in the snow and then you have the helicopter shot and everything. It was amazing, you know, amazing. And then of course, the fight happens and Rocky walks out. And while Rocky walks out, we have this save the cat moment from Paulie, you know, when he says, if I could unzip myself, I would like to be you, you know? And that was so, such a touching moment. And um, it's called save the cat moment. I mean, screenwriters use that term. It happens or you use it when you have a very unlikable character. You know, if you have a very unlikable character, you kind of risk losing the audience, you know? So you should give your character a uh, save the cat moment, the moment where the character reveals his true feelings, his heart, you know, and shows a vulnerability. And, uh, you know, if you have a, a horrible character, but then he saves the cat secretly, then, you know, you're open for it because there is hope. You can still cheer for that character. And, and that was a very nice uh, save the cat moment. And of course, later when he said, uh, he looked at the Russian, hey, whatever I said before, I want to be you, forget about it, you know, very funny. And that brings me to the coolest moment of the film. I was just blown away by this visual when Ivan Draga came out of the locker room and you have the backlighting and some smoke and you just see his silhouette. I mean, that was just breathtaking. That image, man, was was amazing. And in, in some way, it, it kind of reminded me of Trump when he came out at the convention, you know, and love him or hate him, doesn't matter at all. I'm just talking about the images. I mean, check it out, you know, that's pretty amazing. You know, that's, that's what came to my mind. But anyway, so the fight happened and it was a brutal fight. I mean, just the first round alone. Rocky got beaten up, something fierce, you know. Second round wasn't much better, but then finally Rocky landed the first pulverizing blow that changed the entire dynamics and the momentum of the fight. 
Drago was finally hurt on his eye, I think, and it changed everything and it still went back and forth and soon thereafter it was funny because Rocky was like sitting in his corner and the coach said, you see, you heard him, he is human. And on the other side, in the other corner, Drago was sitting down saying, this guy is not human, he's like iron, you know, so that comparison was awesome. And then of course the fight continues and we all know how it ended. It was very, very exciting. We were jumping up, of that, up and down. It was very um, inspirational too. And then of course we had this speech where Rocky addressed the Russian people. And I thought that was very interesting and very well done. He uh, talked about, you know, I changed, you guys changed, so the entire world can change, you know, and everybody was applauding and cheering. And yeah, I understand some people might say, well, it's a little bit too idealistic, you know, but no, I think it's a very important message because we really should um, love and respect all of those other people in other countries as well, because it's usually not the people that go, that start a war, it's the governments, you know, and we definitely have to make a difference between a country's government and the country's people. So I thought it was a really great, great message. And talking about love, I just remember that this movie also ended in I Love You. It was like the first movie, the second movie, and now the, uh, the fourth movie, they all ended with somebody saying I love you. So I thought that was a, a very nice touch, you know. And so now it's um, off to Rocky V. I can't wait. I was wondering again in my mind, what could this be all about? I mean, can we create an even bigger opponent than Ivan Drago? I don't think so. I just hope he's not gonna fight some alien or some robot or something. So I'm very curious about Rocky V and I hope you'll be there too and we can enjoy it together. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.